Hi, <laughs> we're in Fantasia land. And, and we've just got to fly. This park is the best park. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was going to be quite a busy day today, but we did, what, 20, 25 minutes for fly? Yeah, so, so this is a Sunday and winter run, which is their uh, Christmas event. The park is usually really busy, so last time we were here was a Sunday as well, and it was so busy. We already did uh, Wing Just Fear and Forest, which is the spinning coasters. They are so good, so much better than I remember. Yeah, I, I do love the wind. I think they're so far advanced for what they are. So good. Yeah, and they, they, how old are they? Uh, like 23 years old, something like that. Yeah, so they have some other elements we're not gonna talk about what exactly what happens there because i think it's good to keep it yeah. like it's not it's it's just it's unique yeah it's, it's like, something like it, like it is unique yeah it was unique. not seen when they were built this whole area is unbelievable like the teaming on this area is like amazing. So, yeah. Now we're going to go. Now? Black Mamba or Talican, one of the two. So we're going on Talican now. Yeah, we're going to Talican. Yeah, we're going to Talican. Talican's so intense. Oh, it is the best top spin ever. It's just. Rides so much better than all other top spins. I don't know yeah, how they so, made it so much better. So intense, better it flips oh, so it? much, and the teaming, like everything here, oh. is uh, so good. The fire effects are on. Yeah, all so the effects, water effects, fire effects, intense. That, like, I mean, that's oh, the perfect. music is so good as yeah, well. Yeah, the, the background it. that they have. Yeah, I. Oh, and for the first time, I did it facing, not facing the wall, facing the other way. It's better. Yeah. I, I felt it was way better. Well, I like I like facing the wall though. No, I, 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 I like to have the view. If you're not facing the wall, you have the full view. <laughs> and now, group is doing chiafas. So it was snowing this morning, and the log flume's open. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, Chiapas. I did it last time we were here on my first visit to Fantasia Land. It was close and it's really unreliable. So yeah. last time we were here on December, uh, it was open and I, I went on it. But you can get really wet, even on winter. Yeah, it's mostly your leg gets wet, I thought. We went twice last time we were here. On the first time, we didn't yeah. get really wet. No, actually, some people in our group went like for a third time. On the third <laughs> time, they got soaked. <laughs> so I'm so glad we didn't went for the third ride. And I, I don't know, it's just too cold. I would love to do it again because there is a really cool indoor part. It is my favorite log flume, but I'm just going to skip because it's that cold today. So we've just walked past the... Uh, uh, the Taran extended queue, which looks like it's shut. You can see him through the gate. So we haven't done Taran yet today, so we're going to yeah, go there next. Yeah. And it looks like the queue's going to be quite quiet. Yeah, which which is amazing because Taran is just fantastic. And I'm so excited to do Taran. So we started the day on Winges. We did bow. Then we went on Crazy Bats. And Crazy Bats is a really good VR coaster. Although I am a little bit disappointed. Last time we were here, my VR was having a message that it needed to charge. It was with low battery. And this time it was missing the, the rubber, right? So it yeah. was really uncomfortable. But it is a really good VR. It's the best VR coaster that I did. And I still think it's so worth it. There was someone in our group as well that their VR... <laughs> Tyron second launch. Oh, it's so good to hear. This area of Terra is unbelievably good. So with first place, I've been noticing a lot of issues. It's like the movie was kind of like sideways, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, it had these movie sideways. I've had it where I've been in a hot air balloon once and they had a, a menu for um, the steam workshop. So that was weird. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just glad that on my first time it was working. So if you're going for the first time and it's not working, just tell someone because it, it's worth it doing like, properly. Because when it works, it's actually really good experience. So the group is leaving Chiapas, so we're doing the tarot now.
<laughs> Tower is king. Oh, I every time I come here, every time I ride it, it's I can't believe how good it is. And I mean, I love it. Here it comes now. We always say that go front row because they have a front row queue and a lot of people miss that and it's so good on the front. The current's a front row ride for me. Hands down, I love yeah. it. It's a front row ride. After the second lunch, that's airtime here. When you're in the front, you're thrown away oh, yeah. and, and you the, see the, the whole is... view. I think like, because this is a, a ride that the teaming is so strong. So this is why it's worth doing on the front because you have the whole view. My face is burning. <laughs> it's just so cold, but it's so good at the same time. My hands are freezing right now. Um, <laughs> if you come here in the winter, I'll make sure you've got gloves. Yes. You can't wear scarves on the ride though. Now we're going to go up around the Chinese area. We might go to Colorado or, or somewhere around there. Maybe the ghost train because you still haven't done oh, the ghost yeah. train. Oh yeah, there's some rides here that I still haven't done. So the ghost train, the madhouse, Mad you know the fun house, mouse of chocolate. There's so much. Every time I came here, it wasn't a busy day. Today was supposed to be busy, but it's not that bad. Yeah, it was, what, 25 minutes tower then? Yeah, but we're coming here tomorrow again. Tomorrow is a Monday and it's probably going to be really quiet. So we're in China now. We said we were going to consider the possibility of doing Colorado Adventure, but we saw that it was on 40 minutes. So we decided to do the ghost train, that it was a whole country. So this was your first time doing the ghost train? Yes, yeah, ghost trains like this little door here in this building. I love ghost trains and I was pretty excited about going to this ghost train because yeah, it was my first time. The thing is, Fantasia Land is a place that we always say that it's the best teaming ever and every right here is the best version of it. So it's like the top spin is the best top spin. The mine train here is the mi best mine train. The flying <laughs> coaster, better flying coaster. One of better, the better shot towers. One yeah. The, best uh, VR coaster. So every right here is the best version of it. And then the ghost train. It's really... It needs to be updated. So the theme is a bunch of Chinese geishas and they've got dragons in one scene, pirates in another it's really, scene, yeah, it ghosts in one scene, a witch in one scene, I don't even, a giant in one part as well. I, I don't even think that it, it feels like a ghost train. No, it doesn't. It doesn't feel like a ghost train. But the it, thing is, like, if you went through every individual scene, they are really good. Like, it, it has a really good story that you could do, but it's just really poorly done. I really think, like, if they could update Guys the Richter into a modern dark ride of some sort, or even, a, like, a, you know, like, these new Interman fourth dimension indoor coasters that's been popping up, like, movie studio tour and stuff like that, but to the exact same theming would be amazing. Yes. Yeah, keep the teaming, but update it. Even keep some of the original stuff that they have here. Yeah. They do have some things that are cool, like some statues, some... But th there is even a part of the ride that you said it was broken, right? That is not properly working. Yeah, a bit where like That's... a ghost hangs on your back in your chair in a mirror and follows you along. They're just like standing. Uh, the, some parts, like the ceiling is just black. The, the walls are just painted. There is this fire exit that is... Just in the middle of the ride, it just breaks the immersion of the ride. I like the idea, but yeah, in, in, if it was updated, it would be an amazing ride. Yeah. Even if they keep it as a ghost train, but just updated it. Oh yeah, definitely. That's all it needs. So the group is eating noodles here. So there's a lot of options of noodles here in China. Uh, here we have River Quest, which is the rapids that is closed the log flume still opens in the winter but the rapids which is right here is not open and it's a shame because it's a really cool i mean i wouldn't do it yeah, today no, I, I, I mean i've got oh, so soaked on it on the, the rapids. oh so the group is soaked from the log flume 
So it's like we said, like, usually it doesn't get you that wet, but they did. They all did. And I'm so glad we skipped it because it's so cold. But like the rapids in the summer, it's amazing. So it has like a leaf hill and... And like drops. And, yeah, the, the, and it has like a big drop. And oh, so good. Yeah, the, the rapids are... I've, I mean, I've had it so many times where I've got so sorry. The worst bit is the double down. They're like, why well, have a double down on a rapid? It's crazy. <laughs> and then randomly at the back of the China... This what? section, like literally right in that corner there, is the entrance to Colorado Adventure. So it's so random having that right back here. So you can get quite lost in Fantasia Land if you don't know where the entrances are for some things. Fantasia Land is a small park, but they fit a lot of stuff in here. So it's really quick to get from one side yeah. of the park to another. Yeah, it takes five minutes to walk from one side of the park to yeah. another, so it's really good. But it doesn't feel like a small park because of so much stuff that they have here. We're by River Quest. It's so weird seeing it without the water on. It yeah. really is. This is the main drop that we were talking about. River Quest is great. And then there's, of course, Mystery Castle back there, which we are leaving till later. Because there's two different cycles. We're on winter arm at the moment. So if you come back and do it after 5 p.m., you get a longer cycle, which is um, just a little bit better. It builds up more anticipation to the ride. Let's just get back to China. There's still another ride in China that I want to do that I've never been to. <laughs> the Fakoma Madhouse. Yeah. Okay, so this is not the night bird for poster breaks, okay? But Marcus knows what he's doing. So, I, oh, there's a dragon! Oh my god! It's broken. Hey! <laughs> Bye, Coco! <laughs> well, <laughs> that's one of the dragons. So, Fantasia Land has six dragons, each one. For each areas yeah, of the and park. Yeah, Croker for Africa. Anyway, the first time I was here, I told Marcus that I really want to do the ghost train and the madhouse. And he was like, no, they're not worth it. You don't want to waste your time on those. And I was like, I do because I love madhouses and I love uh, ghost trains. And we didn't. Now we did both. And I trust him because <laughs> they're really not worth it. Like, I don't regret doing them because this is my third day here. I've done everything else. I'm glad I did both because it's, it's interesting to see. But the thing is, in a park like Fantasia Land, that everything is world class. And then you have these two rides. This become a madhouse that they have here is not the best one. It's really long. Like it was a welcome, but it took us so long because the pre-show is so long. We were next in the queue. We walked in there. There was no one else in the queue. And it took forever to get into the pre-show yeah. as well. Then the pre-show and then yeah. Yeah, it all adds up. If you just have one day here, you probably want to use your time better than doing this ride, the Vacoma Madhouse and the, the Ghost Train. Just do Terror and Fly and I mean everything else. So we did Black Mamba, and I need to say Black Mamba is good. Yeah, I like Black Mamba, but I kind of prefer other inverts. Yeah, it's Black not Mamba has their a really best. strong first half, and like the loop is really intense, and like a lot of other elements is really intense. But I just feel like um, I prefer other inverts, I guess. But first, Nemesis. Ne <laughs> ne Nemesis, yes, Nemesis Inferno, no. Monta. I prefer them on too. I like, I mean, again, they have the whole team in here and I think that just adds to the ride. After the ride, we were going to do Deep in Africa. So Deep in Africa is like a walk through, like some slides and... Like climbing frames yeah, go all over right Black here. Mamba. But the problem was um, it's apparently closed due to bad weather, which is not that bad. It's cold, yes. But not enough to shut the ride down. I did it in a minus temperature last year. So, and we're not minus here yet. Yeah, it's like three degrees right now. We did Colorado Adventure. It's getting dark now, but we did it was pretty light yet. Yeah. The 
other time we were here, we did it at night. I'm it's gonna say that ride. it's a night ride. So Colorado Adventure is like 100% better during the night than during the day. It's my favorite mine train. It's so good. It's so long. There's like three lift hills, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's and, ridiculously long. It just yeah. keeps going and going. The, I think the second lift hill, that part is the best, followed by the third, but the first lift hill section being the worst. <laughs> yeah, but the uh, the thing with Colorado Adventure, it has a lot of tunnels, a lot of indoor parts. When you do it during the night, it gets like really immersive. Everything gets really dark and I think it's a perfect at night. So if you have the chance, do it at night. Now we're just hanging around here. We're waiting until 5 p.m. because it's almost 5 now. And we're going to Berlin, to the main plaza area. Yeah, they've just done the light switch on, on the main plaza. So the lights look absolutely amazing. So we're going to go check them out now. And then we're going to the fly area, to Rockburg, because there's going to be a show. Yep. Where they're going to turn all the lights. And have some freaking laser beams. And it starts to snow again. Is it real <laughs> snow or fake snow? Fake snow. Okay. <laughs> So I've just done the light turn on and they put fake snow throughout the area whenever that happens. It looks like real snow. You can't tell if it's real or fake. We came here to pay for parking and... The day is not over yet, but we decided to pay now because if we leave to do that after the park closed, this it gets really busy. Yeah, we just did Misery Castle, and like we said, we waited after five because then we got the long cycle, which we did. Yes, it's so good. It's like an indoor shot and drop tower. I really like Misery Castle. I hate when people say Misery Castle's really short. As compared to what other drop towers you go on, it's a drop tower. Of course, it's going to be short. It just does one drop. That's it. So I think it's absolutely fine. I really do. We watched a part of the show on Mystery Castle. It's not great, in my opinion. It does look cool from a distance, though. But I don't think as far as the show goes, that it really doesn't feel like a show. We watched the show in Rookburg, that when they turned the lights on. This show was worth watching. Yeah, the Rookburg show is a lot better than the Mystery Castle show, I think. Rookburg show, the way they turn the lights on is, I think it's great. I think it's a cool way to turn the actual lights on for the roller coaster. And it's great because they stop fly while they're doing the show, and they end the show with fly launch. So by the time they end the show, they turn the lights on, you hear the noise of the launch on fly. It's so good. We just did the fly night ride after the show. So the thing is, they advertised it as an 18 minute wait for fly. We queued, what, 20 minutes? Um, not even that. Not I even think. that. It's just, it was straight on pretty much. And they do that to try and stop you, I don't know, stop you going on it during the show. I don't know why. They did that last time we were here as well. Last time we were here, we thought we were going to get the last ride of the day on fly. And we ended up getting a rewrite. Now we're going to... Right, Tyrone. We're going to keep loving Tyrone until the end of the night. Yeah, I think we're just going to try and do as many as we can on Tyrone. Yeah. We're in the front row queue for Tyrone now, and I'm so excited. So last time we were here, we did the night ride, and it's, oh, it's so amazing. 
but now it's my first time doing the night ride at the front row. And uh, the front night ride is amazing. The only problem is, it's gone down to three train ops, and now they're doing the offload and onload on the same platform, yet the queues are still... Uh, it was over 30 minutes, about 40 minutes we queued. Yeah. Yet we're on uh, exactly. less trains and offload and onload, just the one platform now. So a bit of a shame what they're doing here, but we've got on, so... And I can't wait, I love it. It is so good, so, so good. Front row is so much better than the, all the others. Yeah, you oh, can, front row is oh, nice. It's, it's unbelievable how good it is. But it's like, it's freezing, so they don't let you use like a hat or a scarf and your face is going to be freezing. I had gloves. My hands are freezing. I have my turtleneck on be because I can't wear a scarf. 15 We're minutes. We're going again. <laughs> <laughs> We're obviously going again. <laughs> so Taran's down to 15 minutes. So here we go, guys. We just came again on the front row queue. And by the time we got here, they just closed it. So, yeah, we got it. Uh, just and uh, just two other people with our group. We're the last ones getting in the front row queue tonight. So that was quite lucky. Some people on the group prefer to go in on the back. And some of them said that the back is better. I just prefer it on the front. Yeah. I think especially with seeing everything. It's because of the good. teaming. It's because of the views that you have. I feel like I still think that like my favorite part is when you like after the first launch and you have their time here. And you see everything, especially now at night, it's just worth it. Stop it again to get another train. Yep, and yep, we got another train being removed. So yeah, we're going so down to two train ups. Yeah, we're in the there goes on. Yeah, <laughs> just had it. But they are having the fireworks while we're getting the train out. They're just doing the testing now. I just saw the train go, no one. Yeah. Fantasia Land, day one Yeah, so we're leaving now and tomorrow we'll be back again for the second day. Hopefully it'll be a bit quieter, but today was really quiet anyway. Really good, we did yeah. four rides on Taran, two rides on Fly, Black Mamba, Talakan, Crazy Bats, both Winges, Mystery Castle, Mystery Castle, the Madhouse, the Gold Train. So, so many. So, it's a really good day. Such a good day. So we just got to our hotel. We're staying in a hotel that is like five minutes from Fantasia Land. We just found out what the temperature is tomorrow. <laughs> so, so today was around zero. Tomorrow is looking to be minus six. Tara is gonna hurt tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Back at Fantasia Land day two, and we start our day off by getting our party ticket. Yeah, we got the park and the first thing, so we don't need to do this later, like yesterday. Rockburn is great, but I think I prefer Clockburn. I think it's better, even better. Smile here in Fantasia Land. So, Carol is down, Fly is down. We're gonna do Mouse of Film right now. <laughs> this is a new ride for me. It's a shooting dive ride. I got the Jurassic Park theme song in my head this morning. I keep trying to break into Jurassic Park for no reason. Do be do do be da 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 da
So this is the first time I'm doing this ride because every time I come here before, I was just like a Taron or fly. But they're both down now. So he's just like me and he's gonna have a long hill later. So while everyone is with you for Taron, we're just doing this. <laughs> This is a big ass cue. They're putting chocolate smell here, so you can, you want to buy chocolate, then this is right next to the chocolate store on Rockford. Yes, let's go buy chocolate. That's exactly what I want to do now. Fly is open now. Now we're doing fly. Terrence still down. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> it is really cold. <laughs> we went on Mouse of Chocolate, your first ever time on yeah. Mouse of Chocolate. It's, it's like the shooting dark ride, Jay. It, it's good. It, it reminds me of uh, the Toy Story Mania on Yes, yeah, Disney same ride system. Studios. Yeah, but I think Toy Story Mania is better. I, I prefer yeah, Toy I prefer Toy Story. Toy Story. I, the problem with Mouse of Chocolate, I feel like it goes on too long and there's not too much set pieces in between the things. We're just in a factory, which... It is presented no, I, well. I think I that just... the track is better. There, there is more of sceneries than yeah than Toy Story Mania. But I feel like in Toy Story Mania, you you feel that you're actually shooting things. On Mouse of Chocolate, I didn't like. It was kind of boring to just. At some point, it became boring. Yeah. Um, so we're just waiting around town area now. So it's testing Sassy. lots. It's been down all day. So we're hovering around here waiting for it to open because it looks like it could be any second now. It's not a busy day, but it'd be nice to get in there straight away. Yeah, so we're doing kind of other stuff. We did the Cheryl planes. They look so good. Yeah, oh, they're beautiful. With and the water. In, in Berlin, they're so good looking. And then we did the fun house. Fun house. No, 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 no. Back up! Funhouse is good. It's um, so well themed. I always did the fun houses in fun fairs, and they are all kind of standard. We just did the one in Winter Wonderland, which was pretty cool. Yeah, that was, was a really long. Yeah. I, I think I preferred the Winter Wonderland one. It felt more crazy. Yeah, but this one is more, it's like a fixed one. And it's yeah. like, it seemed like an, in, as a hotel, and it had all these rooms that they had this 
actually teaming. I don't know. I really liked it. Yeah. And again, if you're here but for a day. Just looking over at Tower now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's still shot. This area is, is definitely my favorite. I mean, yeah, you've got Tower on one side, you've got Chaffas and Black Mamba the other side. So, yeah, so this is Mexico, this is Klukheim, like Rothbard. Do they have people on? No, but. Right, let's keep walking back, hovering yes. around the tower. We're just waiting to slowly get on there. Yeah, it looks like any second it's going to open now. Fly um, was also down in the beginning of the day, yep. but they opened it, so we were done fly. We about a 15 minute queue on yeah. fly, so that wasn't too bad. Fly is a good ride. I find it relaxing. You have Teron, that is the other opposite. Yeah. You, Teron is supposed to be like fast and all the curves, all the turns. And then you have fly, you're flying. Yeah. Actually, that's, that's, that's it. There's no better way to describe than that. I think the only other thing we really want to do today, probably deep in Africa, because you haven't done that yet. Yeah. So I think that's the other main party. Yesterday it was down to bad weather, which yeah, the weather was a lot better than it is now. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's very cold today. So yeah, hopefully that, that comes back on soon. Oh, and we need to do Rike still. Yeah. The, haven't the, done that one. Yeah. It's the family boomerang that is right here by Sarah. Just going right now. Yes. It's going to be okay. this one. Uh, Let's join the queue for town. Just a black mamba followed by Deep in Africa. So deep in Africa is like just this walk through that has a lot of um like this I, I'm gonna let you explain this. <laughs> so it's kind of like a little walk through and you get to go through um I don't know, like these jungle gym areas and outdoor play areas, indoor. Um, there's a slide. There is like a. It finishes with big slide. Yeah. Crazy. It's good laugh. They, they just filled up the it, space. It's where really quick to do. And there are some paths that was closed now yeah. that it's in the winter. Yeah, they look pretty iced over when we saw them. <laughs> like with waterfalls. and. But it's something that is like, there's no queue. You just go and you just walk through. I think it's a cool thing to do, especially with, if you're with a group. Yeah. It's kind of like same vibes as Fun House. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, yeah, it's basically like an outdoor fun house, but feels a little bit more dangerous. So <laughs> at times I've bang I've banged my head in there so many times. <laughs> After deep in Africa, we went on Talikan. Twice. Twice. So it's a wall con. Talikan has one side that faces the wall and one side that faces the other way. Marcus preferred the wall. Yeah, I prefer I'm the honest, other way. I kind of like the other way this time. <laughs> I don't know. I chose right. one. More. I don't know. I think they're it's, both as good. Like, it doesn't, yeah, they're both I think great. The wall is really well teamed, so it's culture phase the wall. I like the yeah. um the, when you go on the wall side, you have your back and your face uh, look up into the sky, so it feels more comfortable rather than being dangling above some yeah, water. Yeah, but I like facing the other way because you can have a, a view from the top of the park. I like to see the park from the top. It's cool looking at Black Mamba when you're at the top. Yeah, exactly. Now we're going to Mystery Castle. We want to do a daytime, a, a quick 
ride on Mystery Castle. It yeah. doesn't have a queue, and we already did the, the long cycle yesterday, so today we're going to do the, the short cycle. The difference between the short cycle and the long cycle is the whole point of the ride is that, the main drop. But when you do the long cycle, it's about building the anticipation up. So if you've not done it before, it really helps to build up that anticipation for the Mystery Castle yeah. for your first time. Because we've done it and we're kind of used to it, it's Yeah, cool the second just part the is just cycle. the drop. So, <laughs> your smile. I, I know. It's just like we were doing a front row ride on fly. The more I ride these coasters, more I appreciate it and more I kind of understand the purpose of the coaster and more I enjoy it. So we were doing the front row. Marcus always said that he prefers the front row. By on... a million miles. By a million miles. It's <laughs> a front row ride. It is. It is. It's, it's... It's, it's not even close on how good the front row is compared to the rest of... I, you get such great airtime in moments you don't normally get airtime. Plus so... you get the few. Yes. It's an amazing area. Oh, the no launch feet in front of you. With, when you have nothing in front of you. You see that, that, that tunnel with the launch is so amazing. And it's so weird because after the second launch, especially like the second yeah. half of the coaster, it's constantly, you have like positive forces, then airtime, positive forces, airtime, like one followed by the other. And it's so good. I love the front. It's a front row ride. Don't be put off by the front row queue. They have like 100 minutes from yeah. here, markers, absolutely everywhere. It's not that much bigger. It really is not that much bigger to queue for the front. Just do it. On this fire. Tyron and Fly, at some point, the queue divides from the, the front row to the rest. And both of them, it's not much more that you queue when you choose the front row. Hmm. I, I think because the front row queue starts so far back, you don't feel like you would have to queue the normal queue anyway. So you're just yeah. skipping a normal queue or a large section of it anyway. Yeah, and so the problem with fly, with Tarun, you can see exactly where the front row queue ends. Yeah. With fly, sometimes you don't, so you kind of don't know how big it's going to be. So this morning, we were not queuing from the, for the front, so then we realized that there was no one in the front row queue. I, I'm just tempted to do it again. What, do the front row again? Yes. Really? Yes. Yeah, I can do the front row again. <laughs> what time? Or do you want to go Tara? Depends what time it is. Oh, so it gets dark here. So on the board, you um they do the Pulse of Rookberg show, which we saw last night, and then it gets night ride after that. How about we go do Winges? Oh yeah. Yeah, we haven't done Winges yeah. today. Let's, Let's go, go do, do Winges, then come so, back and do a night ride. Yeah. On. Yesterday we did Winges first thing in the morning, and they are really good. <laughs> I mean, we, we're in we're in a park that has fly and tear room, so they kind of get a little bit left aside. Yeah. Because of how great the other two coasters here are. But, I mean, and Black Mamba. Yeah. And Colorado Adventure. <laughs> like, this park has so much. And... You but, forget but like, how much it you, has. I'll, I'll, yeah. Well, should I say you forget the quality of what it has? Exactly. Because when you think the... is again, it's about the purpose of the coaster. When you think about what the winges are designed to do, they are perfect. And I think they are really worth... Rewriting. Yeah. So, so today is the last time we're going to be here for this season and we're kind of trying to do rewrite. We did everything. Should I go? High five. Hey. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, he seems a little bit tired. <laughs> we're going into Woostown now, but at the back of Woostown, there's all these sound barriers for Fly and it's amazing. You've got Fly literally right next to us and you can't fucking hear it. You cannot hear a single thing of it. It's because how close all the the houses are to the park. So yeah, and there's literally the houses park just opposite us right now. Yeah. And now we go next to Avaris, which looks a little bit like a 
phallic with wings. <laughs> So the winches are in this indoor part of the park, which is quite good on the winter. There is like this uh, flat ride in the middle. Yeah, they and got an you have, parachutes. And then the two winches, coaster, sphere and forest going around it. It's a really cool looking area. Yeah, and it's warm. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and today oh. it's cold. Yeah. So it's good to be here in the warmth. Nicely lit up in it. I don't know. It's quite atmospheric in there. We chose to do fear side. Fear's it's Michael's favorite. favorite, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Fear's better than Force. It's quite cool being in here while it's really dark outside. Because it does oh, yeah, feel darker it's in glass. here. And it does have more light. Yeah. Is it glass? When yeah, it, glass, it's... glass ceiling. So oh. during the day, that's why it feels a lot more bright in here. Yeah. So yeah, it's quite cool being in here while it's quite dark. Yeah. So we're only doing one side because obviously, Terror. <laughs> so that's where we're going now, right? Either town or fly, one of the two. I still think it's, yeah, it is worth doing winges. Yeah. But one side is enough. Like, oh, yeah. So, um, but yeah, so now so stay tuned to see where we're going next. Town or yeah. fly. We decided to go for a fly. Uh, Which was a bad choice. <laughs> bad choice. <laughs> bad, bad choice. Fly's gone down. We were on the front row queue. We were at like we were gonna be next yeah we had like two two trains in front of us and then it was our turn yeah we didn't wait it was like 10 15 minutes until we, the point that we were and then it went down when fly goes down it can go down for a long long time and we saw a lot of members of staff a lot of members of staff going out the main tunnel and heading up towards the launch channel to me that meant they were going to have to evacuate people on the launch in order to do that on fly, that is a very long job. A very, very long job. It was not worth staying in the queue. Yeah. When you're here, you can go on Taran instead or Black Mamba. I trust my tour guide. <laughs> so we, were, we just left the queue. They got uh, one person out. We just saw them get the on Yeah, the, the, first the train, train was actually stuck on the launch. Um, and they've only managed to evacuate the first row, but they've only got one person out in the first row. So they've got still quite a while to go. When they finally get it back up and running, it takes a long time testing. It could be 10, 15 trains they've got to test as well. That's another 10, 15 minutes. The day was quiet. We wasted like 15 minutes on the queue. It's just not worth it to stay there waiting. So it's better to just get out of queue, do something else. We're probably going to do Terran now, right? Yeah, Terran or Black Mamba or, yeah, Col or Colorado. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Maybe, so okay, new plans. Colorado and Black Mamba, and then we just stay on Sharon. Yeah, I think Colorado's down. Oh, come on! I oh, know, what's going on here? Yeah, it's Colorado's down. Yeah, the machine says it's down. Oh. No, it doesn't, it says that it's a mine train. <laughs> In German, well, I can't speak German. <laughs> okay, so Black Mamba, Colorado Adventure, and Sharon to the park close. I think we made an excellent decision to come here because I really wanted a, a front ride, especially a, a front night ride on Black Mamba. And we got it. We got it. So Black Mamba, there is no front row uh, queue. And I never had the chance before of doing a, a front row. Usually on B&M Inverts, I prefer the back row, but this is Fantasia Land. They have an awesome teaming. Same thing for every ride. The front row is worth it, and I think I prefer to do at least once a front row here, just because it's so good to go around seeing yeah, all the and this whole area is amazing. And we're doing uh, Colorado Adventure now. I'm tempted to try the front row on that <laughs> too. So, on this whole Africa area, there is the hotel that is like this massive field right next to Black Mamba, and especially at night, I think it, it does deserve a front row. I wish they have a front row queue. Yeah, yeah. To let us just queue for them. It's annoying. At least on Terror and Fly they do, so. <laughs>
But yeah, I think like every area, just walking around Fantasia Land at night alone is amazing. I was here in early December uh, while you were still in Brazil, and it was just snowing, and it was heavy, snowing heavy. And it was amazing just walking around, seeing the place in the snow. So we're going through the entrance of Colorado Adventure. And a lot of people think this is a new entrance. It's not. It's just a new sign because people kept walking past it. <laughs> I remember when this came on, like people were tweeting about this, going, oh my God, there's a new entrance to Colorado Adventure. But, it's just because it's so hidden yeah, in the back part, right? You just can't see it. So many times I've just walked through here. But yeah, it's a very weird area. And this area is rumoured to have something happen to it in the future. Built onto the back of the Silverton Theatre. It's just so dead and there's nothing It here. is. It's, it's so not... It, out it doesn't feel like Fantasia Land in here. It's an open path with nothing at the side. It's just... There's just not much here at all. So it's rumoured that this area could be somewhere for a potential um, expansion to the park, which would be amazing. I think they could do something here. Colorado Adventure, maybe not so much a front row, right? Yeah, no, nah, it felt very rickety in the front. Yeah, um, it was slower. It slow, yeah. Because it's a, it's a really big train, so the, the front row is actually like... Yeah, it felt like it kept getting pulled back and it just wasn't going through it very well. And to be honest, it's not, it doesn't have like that much steaming. It's mostly indoors. And so it's good to do at night because it's full dark in all the tunnels and everything. So it kind of doesn't make a difference if you're in the back row or front row yeah, because it, it has like, <laughs> yes, and it, because it's like a train. So there is like a massive thing in front of the front row. So it, it, you really don't have that much of a view. But like now we're going to another ride that does make a difference on the front row. So yeah, we're going to Terran. Fly is back open, which is yep. good, but we still oh, have- Let's say it's down still. Wait, what? The fly stand, they must be testing oh, it. Okay. So we, saw, we saw the train yeah. while we were on um, Colorado Adventure. So it looks like they're still testing it. Hopefully it opens soon. So like I said, I trust my tour guide. <laughs> By the time we left fly, we went on Black Mamba, Colorado Adventure. We're joining the queue for Terrell now, which is our priority always. Normally, I always have the rule, just hold the line. Just stay there and go on the ride. If it goes down, they'll get back up soon. But no, we couldn't. It's because you know how fly works yeah. and how long it takes. Oh, that's the dispatch noise. Get ready. You're going to hear a launch in the background soon. This is what I love about walking into Klugheim. You can hear the noise. Here it comes. Yeah. Three, two, one. And a half. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, first launch. Every time I'm walking into this area and I hear this launch, I just start smiling and I just... This is one of the best experiences on the theme park. Let's join the queue now. <laughs> this was the best end for our Fantasia Land day. So we went back on Terra and they just <laughs> sent us again. Yes, we're at the back and... um they sent us around twice. I, I love it when they I do that. I love when they, when they do that. It's so good. You end the day with such a good energy. So good. I love, I love town. That was a great end. Yeah, the whole day was perfect. And Fantasia End is always a great day. Right. So we do have another video here about the park reveal. If you haven't seen that yet, make sure to check it too. And we are going to Eftelin tomorrow. So make sure to subscribe and watch this video next.